Mike Willisey can rightly claim to have created nightly commercial television current affairs in Australia. In 1971, he designed, produced and presented a current affair on Channel 9. Welcome to a current affair. It was still going nearly half a century later and defied several attempts by other networks to copy or supplant the formula of nightly tabloid television news mixed with serious interviews. Willisey was the guy that was the complete package. On air, he had charisma, he had insight, he had authority, he broke stories. He was a compelling television presence that Australia in about 1971, 72, and what, what? This is, this is the modern age, you know? And he sort, of, he sort of came good, he came to prominence at a time when colour television came along. 75, mid 70s, suddenly Willisey in full colour was bursting in our screens and uh, doing interviews, telling stories, and there was something very Australian about him. I've just worked out why that big beast would make a cattle truck take a dirt road, because he's afraid of the Khyber Pass. Willisey became the preeminent television interviewer for more than 20 years. What I most loved about Willisey and his capacity was what I call the Willisey pause. He would create this vacuum between him and his interview subject, where the interview subject would just be sucked into it and come out with something. And it was fascinating the way he did it. If I buy a birthday cake from a cake shop and, there, and GST is in place, do I pay more or less for that birthday cake? Well, it will depend whether cakes today in that shop are subject to sales tax or they're not, firstly. And they may have a sales tax on them. Let's assume that they don't have a sales tax on them and then that that birthday cake is going to be sales tax free, then of course you wouldn't pay, it would be exempt, it would, so there would be no GST on it under our system. Earlier, Willisey had been a reporter on the ABC's This Day Tonight and presenter big, big of, of Four Corners. piece of symbolism here tells some sort of a story. The man in front is an American soldier.